had classes. Actually, I only had one class today, and my class ended at 12. But right after class, I went to the Duke gift shop, and I got some beer for tonight's game. So hopefully, I'm planning on going to tonight's football game, and it's actually the first home game that they have. So best believe I'm going to be there because the student tickets are free. I just have to find like a, a place to park and sort that out. Got to do my research later. Well, man, I'm so excited that it's Friday. You have no idea. This week, when I tell you this week kicked me in the butt, like, it really kicked my butt. I had to write three papers and I barely slept. Like, I could really use a nap right now, but when I get home, I have to get ready for a little date. I'm so proud of myself. Like, I'm getting this work done and I'm also like balancing my social life. Grinding and socializing. I like, I love that for me. So I just got home and I'm gonna show you what I got at the bookstore. I got this Duke hoodie in the color gray. Clearly you can see it's gray. And this is actually the little boy section and it's an extra large. Um, It costs like $37. Not bad, not bad, not bad. And tonight, I think I'm gonna wear this um, Duke University t-shirt. This only cost me like, oh wait, this one cost me 17. I thought it was on sale for 13. Whatever. I like it because it's very like cute and simple. It's not like that crazy, like blue on blue, but it's like more balanced. And I'll probably wear this with like biker shorts or some jeans. I want to wear these pants so bad or even um, these pants but the problem is I wear these pants every day because they're my favorite pants so I have to like challenge myself not to wear the same things every week after week after week because if you look good on me and if you're cute and you go with everything like i have an attachment to you that is like i'm gonna wash it like eight times a month if that makes sense just so i could rewear it so um no way no and let me show you what i might wear i'm thinking these little cute shorts they're like high-waisted um this shirt that it still confuses me to this day and the shoes so they are these shoes is it a vibe? What are we thinking? Alexa, play a merengue. Here's a station for you, merengue, on Amazon Music. Are you kidding me? Absolutely not. Like, why is that the only merengue that exists in the world? Like, at all the parties, like, why is it only that song? Like, y'all don't know anything else. Play merengue. I think she's gonna do the same thing. Here's a playlist for you, Classy Class, merengue on Amazon Music. Okay. Is it better? to the shower this is why it takes me so long to get ready so i washed my hair and it was very matted first of all because i didn't really have time to care for it i just slept it on a bum all week and i could leave it out but i'm just gonna twist it so i don't have to worry about it the rest of the week and i have to hurry up because I, already i feel like i'm late my hair's getting long okay let's, let's start let's start let's start
Okay, I finished my makeup. I put on my clothes. My bathroom is a mess, but I need to run because I'm late. Well, not technically, but I want to get there a little early because I don't know how far the place is. It shouldn't be more than 15 minutes, though. Okay, this is how the full outfit looks on. It's really cute, right? Two hours later. Okay, guys, I just got back. I have my cute little dog gear on. And these are the shoes that I'm wearing. I'm wearing my, um, what are these called? My Air Force Ones in like blue to match everything. <laughs> Dude, uh, this is my first Duke full body. I feel like this is so memorable. This is probably not a big deal, like I'm making a scene, but I only went to one football game in high school because low key I was anti social. Like, all I do was do homework, so not this year, baby. <laughs> So right now we're walking to the game. You can introduce yourself. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm Ariel. We're doing it again. It's so easy. Hey, Ariel. Hey, Ariel. guys i just finished getting ready and it's around two o'clock today is saturday and i don't have much planned today actually i'm gonna go grocery shopping because i don't have groceries for breakfast i'm having leftover shepherd's pie and let me tell you this is i don't mean to toot my own horn like i don't want to gas me up or whatever but this is so good like i made this just look at it 
This is basically ground turkey with some carrots because I'm trying to force myself to eat vegetables and corn and like cheese and it's it's really good. This is my breakfast slash lunch. I had a slow morning. I really took my time waking up because it's my relaxation day. And last night I came home at 2 a.m. Because after the game, we went to my um, friend's house who's also in my cohort. And we played card games and we drank wine. And we were just talking and we just had like such a good time. So we ended up back home till like 2 a.m. Let me update you on the game. The game was so fun. I really don't know football. Like I didn't understand what was going on. And I didn't move my glasses so I couldn't see that well. We eventually ended up moving down a little bit. The whole experience was really nice. Like talking with people that I know. I'm excited to go to more football games. But one thing that I learned about that experience is that Duke doesn't really care that much for their football team because I mean the stadium wasn't empty but there just could have been a lot more people there especially since it was like the first game but the celebrities though the celebrities there is the basketball team the people that were with me like they happened to notice them all the way down like sitting on the side and they were like oh like that's the football team yeah that's this that's that like naming them by name and I'm like how do y'all know these people like never met them and they're actually verified on Instagram like they're just walking celebrities on campus and people like came up to them asking for pictures like hey let me take a picture with you and like a selfie and I was like you imagine being a celebrity in college like you're a regular I don't know freshman in college sophomore whatever and you're just walking around and everyone just like worships you like hmm I don't know I wonder how that plays out into their development like their heads are probably humongous but yeah, it's kind of sad that the football team <laughs> doesn't get that much attention, but it's because they're not as good, um, I guess, and the basketball team is like the best, so it makes sense. So I just got out of the store and tell me why that bag of cherries you guys saw me put in the bag was actually $13 like I really played myself because I don't know I trust Aldi enough not to like check the prices sometimes and I, I was trying to find the price of the cherries and it was like I didn't know it was $4 a pound um but yeah, I never spent $13 on a bag of cherries. But they were generous. Like, it's a whole bunch. It's a lot of cherries. But dang, $13? Like, why is food getting so expensive? This is actually crazy. Anyways, we're going to go to Target now and get the stuff that I wasn't able to find at Aldi. done shopping at Target. I'm about to go home. I feel like I've been shopping all day. Like I'm just being dramatic. I only went to two stores, but tell me why I got these French fries, these hot fries, and I'm eating them, and then I'm mad that they're actually spicy. Like, Cause you know how some things are like spicy, but they're not really spicy. Like you can handle them. These are actually kind of spicy. And I can't do too much spice. 
Dominicans in general, like, we weren't raised to eat spice like that. Our rice and beans have zero spice. For dinner, I'm gonna warm up yet another meal because I don't feel like cooking today. I love cooking. Um, obviously, like, I do a lot of cooking on my channel, but not today. Not today. So I'm gonna have some leftover um, popsicles with some broccoli. <laughs> Literally just two broccolis. So funny. So since last week, I didn't sleep much. Um, I didn't prioritize sleep, but for some reason I had like a cooking kick and I cook technically every day in slow motion. And I would just spend hours, you know, just chopping up my onions and like marinating my chicken and stuff. Moral of the story is I cooked a lot and I have a lot of leftovers, which now I appreciate myself for because I don't have to make anything today. I'm about to edit this video. I hope you've watched it already. This is just like a what I packed for lunch this week video. I need to finish editing this by tonight. Well, I don't have to, it's my rest day. But I like editing, it's relaxing. But if I force myself to finish something that I don't feel like completing, it beats the whole purpose. And I don't want to be stressed. I'm hungry again, so I'm gonna make some Pillsbury croissants um, stuffed with like ham and cheese. I have my oven preheating and my little pan that I'm gonna lay it out in. It's cute. Okay, these are ready. I'm gonna let these cool down for a little bit. But in the bagel seasoning, it brings it to another level. church i'm about to make some breakfast and 
I'm gonna make baked eggs because I haven't had baked eggs in a long time and it just makes me feel like fancy when I eat them. And church was just like, the church was really good today. Um, it's always good, but the message today, like, I'm gonna dice up some garlic. I'm gonna do a little bit of onion. I'm gonna do some green onions because I need to get rid of these. I'm gonna do some butter. Put in my onions and green onions. A little bit of olive oil or a lot. Garlic. Heavy cream. Parmesan cheese. Chicken bouillon powder. I'm gonna transfer my sauce into my little um, baking dish. We wait. Okay, so my baked eggs are done. Look at this. Oh my god. This is gorgeous. I'm so excited. And I know that they're done because I stabbed a little knife in here and the yolk was hard. It wasn't runny, which I don't like runny eggs personally. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this with some toast. Let me make my toast real quick. Let me just put this down. Half in now and then I'll flip it the next time so it can cook the other half. This is the bread that I'm using. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some parsley just for the decoration. I'm gonna break into this. I'm just gonna put it on our toast. Ha ha. Mmm. Mmm. This is nice. This is like, this bread is sour. It's like sourdough bread type. Mmm. I like that. It's so good. Thank you.